Hello all and welcome to this lesson on antecedent and consequent phrases. So a phrase can or will end on a stronger or weaker cadence. Each chord sequence, depending on whether it is antecedent or a consequent phrase. The antecedent phrase is usually the first phrase in the section of phrases with the weaker ending chord progression. So you can have something like this. Or you can have that's a that's a weaker sort of phrase. Then it can come back. And one is always one and tonic are always the same, and they're always um, the strongest that you can end on. One and five actually are the strongest um, progressions that you can land on. So the consequent phrase would be this. And then antecedent one. Okay, that was our weak one. Okay, so if we play these two together, Oops, let me let me play that one more time. Okay, so that that is um, the antecedent and consequent phrases being played together. The consequent phrase is actually the phrase that ends in a strong chord sequence from scale degree number four or five to tonic. So you can have one that goes that's five seven going to one. You can have it just like that. That's that last part of that phrase. Okay, so that that's your antecedent and consequent phrases. Ante just means before, before the climax. I, you can think of it that way. Before the climax, ante will be down going upward, and then the the phrase actually goes up has the consequent phrase join it, it goes back down to the stronger one chord which ends the two phrases. Okay? So that you can look at it like a like sort of an arc. You can sort of add it like a Add it like this. You can have a line like this. It goes up like this. Then it goes down, down. There's your consonant phrase, and then it goes down to the tonic like that. So it can go up from a downward position in the antecedent phrase change phrases at the climax, at the top, and then come all the way down back to the tonic where, where it was meant to go. And this goes into the larger subject of uh, longer scale dissonance and consequence or con uh, consequence. Um, it goes into tension being uh, tension versus release 
and longer forms of music that you'll discover. <clears throat> so this is basically what the antecedent and consequent phrases are. Antecedent is the before phrase or the first phrase, and the consequent phrase is the phrase that responds to it. And uh, it's basically kind of another way to say question and answer. So I will see you in the next video unless there are any questions. Feel free to consult the Q&A in the meantime.